Good yeah. morning. We're in frame. We are in frame. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. One, two, three. To the nursing school show. Hi. Ask me anything. Ask Christina anything. That's Christina. I am Matthew. Hello. Welcome to the nursing school show where we answer questions. Nursing questions. Or any other questions that you or have. Or any other you questions. Can answer so, really yeah. Uh, quick, thank you for joining quick us. Quick shout out to quick. our three year old. Hello. Hello. Hi, Baba. Hi. Hi, Lolo and Lola as thank well. Thank you for hanging out with us. <laughs> you can go play now. All right. Yes, hi. you can go play. You don't have to sit here and watch us. But and watch. Mommy thank you for daddy. joining and saying hi. <laughs> All right. Hi, Baba. So. I told him I was here. Oh, what were you going to say? Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bud. Hi, buddy. Hi. All right. All right. For friends. those that do not know, we are here to answer your questions, your nursing school questions. We are also here to talk about how to pass, pass online, classes. online classes is our topic of yeah. the day. So we will be getting to that shortly. Um, hey, quick shout out. Quick shout outs. Okay, More quick shout outs. Okay. Okay. Well, Christine is waving at people on Instagram. We yeah. will continue. Uh, so for hey, our Sonia. members of the Nursing SOS membership community, we have a spot for you in the membership community that you can always go to and fill out questions that you have. And we will answer those first. Uh, part of a little perk of being part of the membership community is that we get all your questions, we review them and answer them first before diving into our topic and before answering any other AMAs of the day. Perfect. So, with that being said, I don't think we actually had <laughs> because, any questions this Because week. I answered them. We have our uh, Tuesday live tutoring call for our membership yes. community for our members. And so I answered a lot of their questions yesterday. Yes. We call it their questions yesterday. So, yeah. There you go. So, when you go to Next that forum week. and fill it out, you can choose whether to have us answer it on Monday, Wednesday, or on the Tuesday private. We do Remember. have some questions in there. So, if you did submit a question, they are in there. Yes. Um, but... There, I think there was one for next that you wanted me to answer next week's tutoring call, and then one that we'll answer next Monday. All right. So you if you're not, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell on YouTube, so you are reminded when we come on, so you, you do not miss us answering your question. Yes. If you do miss it, don't worry; it's always posted up after we go live. There you go. All right. Great. Oh, uh, let me dive in. Let's dive in on how to pass online, online classes. classes, and again. Any questions that you have related to this topic or anything nursing in general or anything beyond nursing, extracurricular, you, can you can go ahead and shoot those in the comments on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Hello from India. Hello from the Philippines. Woo! Thank you for downloading the guide or nursing school, our nursing school study guide. Study Are you talking system. about the nursing school study system? Glad you got it. Glad you got this it. We are actually going to go to. through it and mm -hmm. the topic is actually in there. So you can actually join along. Yeah. There um, you go. For those that do not know, we do have a nursing school study system. It is all our condensed step-by-step -step guides from the membership community in yep. printed format. Uh, if you would like to go ahead and take a look at that, nursingschoolsuccess.com slash study system. There you go. I will throw it in the YouTube comments. Yep. Nursing school success.com forward slash today's system. So this is your step-by-step -step guide through nursing school. This is the step-by-step -step process that we teach inside our nursing SOS membership community. And we wanted to come up with a way to help you when the membership community is closed for enrollment, which it is for the vast majority of the year. The nursing SOS membership community is only open for enrollment a few times throughout the year. And so the study system helps you in the meantime, right? So step-by-step -step guide through nursing school is what we're gonna go through. And here, how to pass online classes, it's in the guide. So if you have the study system handy, go to page 51, because that's what we're gonna chat about. How to study for online classes. Now, the first thing that I wanna say about this, online classes, and if you are a nursing SOS member, I apologize <laughs> because we talked about this at length yesterday on the tutoring call. So this is will be kind of a rehash for you, but I do get on my soapbox about it. That's quite all right. I have yeah. not heard this yet. Well, uh, the one from yesterday, I'm sure I've heard this, but this is go. gold, as you would say. So Gold. Yes. Friends, listen up, please. Online classes. Here is the biggest issue that I am starting to see, and you tell me 
if I am on point or if you see something different. But here's what I am seeing. Okay. I am seeing nursing students out there in the world saying everything has changed. Nursing school is impossible now. Classes are online. It's completely different. I can't do it. I cannot pass the online exams. My instructors are not teaching. Therefore, I don't know what to study and I cannot pass my exams. That is what we're seeing. Uh, yeah. We're seeing a lot of the, I can't do this. This is too hard. It's, it's not possible. It's, it's impossible. Different. It's different. Things yeah. have changed. Everything has changed. And just for kicks and giggles, why don't you go ahead and throw a thumbs up, like, number one, something else. Comment below if you have heard any of those statements. It is different. Um, it has changed. It's 2020. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, 2020. And then, like, not like, hey, it's 2020, but yes. hey, it's 2020. <laughs> And we all know what we mean by that. <laughs> you know, nursing school exams are impossible now. You can't pass online exams. The instructors are not teaching. They're just reading from a PowerPoint. Everything has changed. All the stuff. Have you heard this? Tell us in the comments. <laughs> yes, it's so hard. Chastity, it's hard. It's tough. It's difficult. It's different. Everything's changed. You can't do it. All these things. Yeah. So that is what we're talking about. Here's the thing, friends. Christina, hold back. Don't get on your soapbox. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes I it's get right. super aggressive with it. I'm like, I have to. She look, does. I have she to gets like, a little carried away. There's it's a okay. line between. It's there's okay. a line between helpful and like. Not mean because I don't. Not helpful. And not I don't know. <laughs> okay, so don't get offended. It's all lies, friends. <laughs> it's all lies. Okay. Here's the thing: if you hear from other students and other people in the world telling you that you can't do it, that is on them. That is their problem. That's their problem to work out can't pass nursing school that's on them but for you you get to decide if you can pass nursing school or not that's on you okay is that too aggressive uh no i think that that's all right to address everyone saying yes it for sure of course it's different or everything is, is changed we are in this new world or this 2020 we do not deny the fact that there have been some modifications to school <laughs> modifications. modifications and that yes things are a little different for how we are for learning. how we are learning but you are still learning mm -hmm. there was still online classes before this before covid like you knew that right yeah there were <laughs> online classes before yeah, that it existed um, it was a thing so yes well yeah. you are studying nursing school nursing school is nursing school studying is studying you are you the only person you have control over is yourself and your mindset about how you approach those things so you can hear all those things and let that get you down. Or you can hear those things and say, you know what? It's nursing school and I'm going to pass nursing school. I would have passed nursing school if it was in, in class. I would have passed nursing school if it was online. I would have passed nursing school no matter what. Yep. Right? Don't let that be a crutch that you can then turn back on and maybe not study quite as hard as you would have. Don't let that be your crutch and say, oh, you know what? I failed, but that's not my fault. Mm -hmm. No, you definitely have the ability to overcome circumstances, overcome experiences, overcome this time. I mean, look, we are in September. We are in the fall. Yay, it's fall! Can we get We're over the halfway that, through the year. You made we've, it. We've made it this far. Oh, what's that, that saying? You know, you've... You've overcome 100% of the talent or something like that. Yep. You have over... <laughs> it's a Michael Hyatt yeah. quote. I heard it from Michael Hyatt. You have a 100% success rate of getting through hard times because you are here. You have dealt with hard things before in the past. And you have a 100% success <laughs> rate of getting through those things. Right? Right. Because you are here. Sonia says he is so optimistic. I love it. You are... 
I love it. Too. So I love it. Too. Don't, don't let that hold you back. So things are different because school is online. Yes. However, school was online before I had nursing classes that were online. Sure. Uh, chastity professors are having a hard time. Also, some professors are old school communicating during office hours and email seems impossible for them. Um, let's see, Melanie, it's difficult. The professors are just reading from slides. I feel like I have to go back and read the whole book myself. Now, here's what I want to tell you. If you are saying that, um, to yourself, we, I, I just say this because I was talking to our members about it yesterday. That is a huge thing. Well, my professors just read from the slides. My professors just read out of the textbook. Friends, that was true before COVID. <laughs> like how many of you guys out there have been in nursing school before COVID, right? Like you're not just starting now. I know there's a lot of you that are just starting now, but I was in nursing school before, before 2020 and we had instructors that just read word for word from the slides. We had instructors that did not teach their classes. It didn't change, right? It's just like, oh, well, the lecture is online. They're reading mm -hmm. from, you know, you're just sitting at your computer watching them read from their slides rather than sitting in class watching them read from their slides. The only thing different is your brain. The only thing different is your mindset about it. Telling yourself it is impossible. Telling yourself all of these things have changed and you cannot do it. And, That's the difference. And Connie had a really good point. Yes, they're going through it too. So empathize with them as well. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, they're working with their own mindset things as well. And, but the, yeah, to, to recap on, on Christina's point, it's unfortunate, but yes, even before all of this, there are good teachers. I'd say the majority of teachers are great and they want you to teach you to be great mm -hmm. nurses. Yeah. That's why they're teachers. So Right. Yes, the, the vast majority of teachers are great and good. But yes, there are teachers out there that do what you say. And it's unfortunate, but that's reality. And that was reality before. That's reality now. So it will be the reality after. Yep. So just how do you deal with that? How do you get through it? How do you pass classes? How do you yes. pass nursing school classes that just happen to be online? Yep. That's the thing. That's the key, right? That's why we're here. But the first step is to realize where your thoughts are at. Are you being super like, this is impossible. It's too hard. It's all the things because here's the thing. Here's the problem with that. If you are telling yourself that it is impossible, that it is too hard, that's too difficult, that you can't pass. Are you going to study for the next exam? No. Are you going to stay focused during class? No. Are you going to stay focused and be efficient with preparing for your exams? No because you are going to be having all these thoughts spinning in anxiety, spinning in stress and overwhelm and confusion and just getting confused, right? You're gonna go clean your house. You're gonna sit on the couch watching Netflix, eating ice cream, watching Friends reruns. Oh, I remember that. I really like Friends How reruns. How about your mother and Friends? Yeah, there you two. go. That is the reality. If you are constantly thinking that you cannot pass, that nursing school is impossible, that's going to be your reality. You're not going to pass. That's it. What is that phrase? Like you, you are, you are what you eat. No, <laughs> that's the wrong one. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. I think that's John Maxwell. Someone mm, look that up, yes, please. Yeah. Or yeah. Zig Ziglar. It's going to yeah. be one of those two. Some, something Zig like that. Zig Ziglar right. or John Maxwell. I don't remember which one. If you think you can or you think you can't. You are right. Does that make sense? Like, I know it's kind of like, whoa, okay, that's a little bit meta, right? <laughs> that, did I use that phrase right? I, I never so. use that phrase. Yeah, I it's, a, it's a good phrase. Did I, like I use it. it right? Yes. So, you know, if you think you can't pass nursing school, you won't pass nursing school. If you think you can pass nursing school, you will pass nursing school. That's really it. That's it, friends. All right, let's All dive right. in more. Scott, on YouTube, I see you. I saw your message, and I saw that you retracted your message. Where can you get your tips? Right here. Also, we're also going over the study system that we have, nursingschoolsuccess.com slash study system. Yep. All the tips and tricks are in there. We are going over it today about how to pass oh, online classes. Yeah. Nursingschoolofsuccess.com forward slash study system. Nursingschoolofsuccess.com forward slash study system. It is on the site. Just released this week. 
to the world. I'll throw it in so, there again. There you go. Nursing school of success.com forward slash studies. So let's do it. Quote is from Henry Ford. Oh yeah, okay, the Melanie, thank dude. you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I was totally wrong. Zig Ziglar, John Maxwell. They say a bunch of things, but apparently they didn't say that one. <laughs> there you go. Henry Ford, according All to right. Melanie. Thank you. Okay, so we've got, I've got really good tips in here for you, the um, study system. I'm going to hit the highlights for you that I think will help the most amount of people. All of you. Communicate with your instructors early and often. Like we just talked about Instructors are going through this too, right? They're trying to learn how to navigate online and all these things. Give them grace. What we need to do as nursing students, I say, let's just pretend I'm a nursing student. What we need to do is communicate with our instructors, help them know, like really help them know that you are not a quitter that you are not going to let 2020 take you down, that you are here for the long term and that you are here to become an amazing nurse and the best nurse that you could possibly be, right? That is what you need to do. You have to basically show up every single day. Every single day, show up. That's it, show up. Your classes are online, yes. You have to sign into online lectures, online discussion boards. You have to email your instructor, all these things. Show up for it. Like, be here for it, friends. Be here for it. Like, this is nursing school. Be here for it. Become an amazing nurse. Communicate that to your instructors. Communicate with them early and often. Show them. Show them what you are capable of. At that, show yourself what you're capable of, man. Yeah, that's key. Show you your know? show yourself. Show others. Show like, up. Like you said, on the boards, make sure you're there. Yeah. And by yeah. there, like actually commenting too, because if you're just there reading everything, to you it might seem, oh yeah, I'm there. But if you're not actually there and putting stuff out and sharing your thoughts and your questions, then no one else knows. You might think you you you're you're there but no one else knows. Right, make sure that you are communicating. You're showing up in your discussion boards, you are emailing your instructor, communicating early and often. So I have a couple of questions that I want you to answer, ask your instructor. And you know what, can you guys just please screenshot this? Like I know if you guys didn't purchase the study system, that's totally fine. Oh, are you gonna I'm gonna it? throw okay. this up here and I want you to screenshot it real quick. Okay, are you ready? I'm gonna throw this up here. It might be backwards. I'm hoping that it's, well, okay, it's probably backwards. So you <laughs> might have to flip it on your phone. Screenshot, please. Screenshot it. Did you screenshot it? <laughs> screenshot the questions. <laughs> Did you get it? Sweet. <laughs> yes, we are reading live chats, but I am going off on a, on a lecture real quick. We'll get back to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want people get upset with us in chat. Okay, number one, how can I be successful in your online class? Ask your instructors this question because this is key. How can I be successful in your class? Number yeah, two. So if, if it's in person, same question, drop the online. <laughs> drop the online. Right? Yep. Show that critical thinking. If you're online, ask, how can I pass online? If you're not online, drop the online. There you go. <laughs> what is the best way to study for your classes? That's number two. What is the best way to study? And one I talked about on Monday, I think was even another one. If you, so this is what you're asking your instructor. If you were taking your class, how would you study? So I'm pretending he's the instructor. If you were in this class, how would you study for it? That's, man, I gotta tell you guys, that's gold right there. <laughs> <laughs> gold. <laughs> Make sure that you are communicating with your instructors. Ask them those questions. How do I best study for your class? How would you best study for your class? Can How can I be successful? Can I just jump in and yeah, tell Connie's, uh -huh. Connie's story? I just emailed an instructor about 0.5 points and they went in and adjusted my grade. I need all the points. So communication is key. Woo! Definitely. There you go. For sure. I love it. Um, okay, and then, so that is like kind of before you start. Now, questions you need to be asking your instructor before the term. Now, again, if you guys want to screenshot this, 
please screenshot it right now. Screenshot it. There's the questions right there. Screenshot. <laughs> Take a screenshot, flip it on your phone, because I know that it's backwards. I'm really sorry about that. This is on page two of the study system. When you go in to talk with your instructors, either in class or online, whatever, it doesn't matter. Get on a Zoom call with your instructor. Go through these. Ask them. Like, show them your study process step by step. Here is how I'm studying. Mm -hmm. What would you change? Like list out your study process. What are you doing? What are you doing to study and show that to them? Like email it to them, right? Like itemize it out. One, two, three, four, five. Here are the things that I'm doing to study. Send it over to them via email. Talk to them about it on a discussion board, what have you. But send them your study process. Tell them and ask, what would you do differently? Like, what do you see? Am I missing anything? What do you see that I'm leaving out? What sh should I be doing something different? You guys see how powerful these questions are? You guys, please let me know in the chat if this is helpful for you. If you're like, Christina, man, I'm never going to talk to my instructor. Yeah, <laughs> if, Everyone's saying, God, it's okay, done. Yeah, Sweet. also, Screenshot. another thing, comment below. If you've already talked to your professors, mm -hmm. your teachers, how did that go? What questions did you ask them that you found helpful? It will probably help other people that are watching. So go ahead and shoot those in the comments as well. Yes, please. If you have, we actually had a student on Monday say that she had um talked to her instructor. I don't think that sometimes it doesn't go well though. Yeah, yeah that was the one from Monday. Yeah. Um, you know, but you have to show up. You have to show up. Show them that you care. Show them that you want to be there. I mean, I don't. Yeah, show them. Show up. Okay. Number three, participate heavily. Okay. okay, this is number three. Yeah, so so system. someone would just commented, I've talked to someone and one just shuts us out and says, just look at the schedule. Mm -hmm. So yes, you will get that. Sure. But you wouldn't have known if you would have gotten that if you didn't actually take the initiative to try. So think, right. that's great that you took the initiative and at least they know that you are there. Mm -hmm. Again, they know that you're there, they know that you're trying and that that's half the battle, G.I. Joe. Um, yeah, you know what so I would do, do in that situation? I've talked to some of them, and one of them just shuts us out and says, look at the schedule. I've had instructors like that, friends, and guess what I do? I don't want to use the word pester, <laughs> but I pester. It's like pest. Is that a, is that a word? Like, no, like, yeah. Nag them? Nag, nag. Nag. Not like nag, but I show up. I show up. You know, email them, ask them how they're doing. Ask them how you can help them through this too. Like your instructors are people, right? They're people. So there you go. <laughs> so ask them, you know, how are they handling the whole move to online classes? How are they doing with it? How are they doing outside of school? You know, ask them how they are. How can you help them? Is there anything that you could be praying for for them? You know, ask these questions. Your instructor sure might shut you down at first, but I can just about guarantee you, if you email them twice a week for a few consecutive weeks, what and is that? I, I keep coming. I keep coming up with like phrases in my mind that are like half, like half complete phrases half complete. <laughs> that I so I can't like say them, and I'm like, you yeah. know, like break the break the shell or whatever. You know, break the <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alexis, I'm glad that yeah. was helpful. Um, the other thing, when you do pester, nag them, or whatever, like like we said, sprinkle in the idea or the proof that you are listening, that you are you are learning. So, mm -hmm. hey, rephrase things. Hey, in class, I heard this, or on your mm -hmm. slide, I saw this. This is what I thought you meant. Is that correct, or where am I missing something? rephrase things because then they'll they'll look and say oh well, they're obviously trying and maybe i just i didn't phrase that right or whatever they might show you out again but again just keep trying just keep going absolutely um we get emails a lot from from students um particular our nursing SOS members because we do a lot of tutoring and so we get emails from our members and oftentimes they'll say uh hey here's my here's my question and we always will send back a response saying how, like, what do you think first? Tell me what you think so that I can see where you're getting stuck and then I can best help you. 
So if you reach out to your instructors from your online class, make sure that you don't just ask a question like, uh, like what Matthew said, rephrase something. Like if they said something in lecture that you don't fully understand, say like, hey, here's, here's what I understood from what you said. Uh, here's where I, like, here's kind of where I'm getting stuck or here's my question. Like, what do you think? Or like where, you know, how can I bet, you know, here's my question, but make sure that you kind of partially answer it first, tell them where you're getting stuck, like do the work first and then send it to them. So they know, like, you're not just saying, you know, Hey, I don't understand assignment question number five. You know, that's not helpful, right? Like give them assignment question number five and say, here's what I have so far. I'm stuck. What do you think? <laughs> kind of thing. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's a um, little blue truck. Book. Little blue truck book. We do a lot of little blue I'm truck. I'm stuck. Help! Help! I'm stuck. So. I'm stuck. That's so cute. If you guys have toddlers, the little blue truck is the best. Just the first one. The rest of the ones <laughs> we don't do the, the leads ones. the way book, but the little blue truck book <laughs> is super cute. Okay, that was. Number three, in the study system, participate heavily in online discussions and communicate early and often with your instructors. Now, oh, actually, I, I, I had a random question to Do ask it. people, shoot in the comments, what, um, what kind of, what Blackboard or what kind of those communication mm -hmm. uh, things do your, your schools mm -hmm. use? I remember Blackboard, I remember other things too. Uh, can, um, can, canvas. Canva, canvas. Canvas. No. Yeah. yeah, Canva, Canvas. So... Um, Shoot them below. Canvas. Canvas. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm curious what. Isn't there like a Zoodle Canvas something use. or Zoodle Canvas? Everyone's saying Canvas. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Zoodle. I've heard of like Zoo. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We used so. Canvas when I was in school. Okay. Canvas. Everyone's Canvas. saying Canvas. Okay. Perfect. There you go. Everyone's saying Canvas. Great. Um. Now let's dive into a huge one. Staying focused at home. How do you stay focused at home? <laughs> so here's another change, right? Just this is another change. Now again, mindset thing, right? When you are at home, it is a lot more, a lot easier to get distracted than if you were somewhere else at school, right? In class, sitting in class, you know, straight up focus, listening to your instructor in class. But now you're at home. There's like I don't know if you're a mom, there's toys everywhere. There might be kids <laughs> in the background. There's, you know, laundries piling up, dishes, all the stuff, right? So, so can be a little bit more of a challenge to stay focused at home. So can you guys please, in the chat, tell me some of your best focus tips. Mm. How do you stay focused? I would <laughs> wow, can you see my house? Because that is exactly yeah. what's going on. <laughs> it's so funny, Jasmine, because as I was saying that, I was thinking, what does my house look like right now? And that would be that. She, yeah, Christina was just describing she, our house. She, so. I was just That's describing fine. our house. It's no big deal. Kids, you know, in the background and toys everywhere and dishes and laundry and all this stuff. You know, all this stuff. So tell me your best strategies for staying focused at home. Moodle. That's the one I was talking about. Um, Moodle. Huh. Yes, we have kids. Yeah. We have two. Um, go into my office and shut the door away from everyone. <laughs> shut the door. There oh, you go. Alexis, yep. I like, I like what you said too. Taking a picture of your work and sending it to them. Too. Oh, that's, that's great. great. That's For a great sure. idea. Have you guys heard of um, Loom? Loom? Loom. I love Loom. Uh, we use it. It's great. Um, it's like a uh, screen recorder. Yeah. Is that what you would call this screen yeah. recorder? Like a web-based screen recorder? So you can use that to ask questions for your instructor. Basically what you do is you click the little Loom app on your computer and you can record your screen or what have you ask your questions, like your, your audio, your voice or anything. You don't have to do your video if you don't want to of your face. You could just do it of your screen. And then you they give you a URL and you can just send that to your instructor. Yeah. Great. That's I mean, great I think idea. that's a fantastic way to, um, you know, get like that more personal on, like, because everything is online right now, right? That's, 
that's a good, great way to get more personal with your instructor. Mm -hmm. Send them audio, video recordings, things like that. I love Loom for that. I think it's great. So focus tips, uh, go to my office, shut the door. You mentioned that. A uh, study in the wee hours Four to six. in the morning or mm -hmm. also late at night is what I, I'm, I'm seeing. Um, send the kids outside and study while they play outside. Yeah, totally done yeah. that. I work when, um, when they're playing outside. Uh, even in the rain, it's pouring down right yeah. outside <laughs> today. And my, I remember... Uh, <laughs> I remember just, uh, you know, la I mean, last we, it, it just started raining here, but last year, I mean, my son would be out with his big taco trucks and I would just be working outside. Yeah. You know, he really likes playing outside. He really yeah. likes playing in the planter boxes. So we do not have any more flowers in there. Nope. But he's been Pretty excavating. Pretty much no dirt in there either. So. But we have Jonka trucks. Water table and sandbox. Yes. Yes. Work and lectures. There you go, Jasmine. So yeah, any you more. You and I, kindred spirits. Any more a, focus a, tips? I don't know my phrases. I should not use yeah. phrases that I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know if that's a phrase that I should be using. I'm sorry if it's not. Um, I was just saying that we're like BFFs. Jasmine, you and I. There you go. Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> recognize when you have to readjust your study schedule for sure hey i was just talking to our members hey while we're on the um subject of study schedule this is my planner uh this is for next week i was just showing this to our members yesterday so i will show it to you now this is our hour by hour schedule uh this is Do the that. nursing the nursing school planner um this if you're a member and you get a template version undated in the membership community um, or you can purchase the 18 month one. Um, where's the 18 month one? It's, it's right under that in the in, membership community. Well, um, like for everyone else who's not a member. Oh, I don't if think you're you not can, a member and you want to be up next purchase week. it, we are working on, yeah. on that We're page. We're redoing so it's, the page. It's, it's down for now. So, so sorry about that. You have to join. <laughs> and watch our lives next Monday and Wednesday to find out where to get a planner. Yeah, there, there you, you go. go. So <laughs> hit subscribe, hit the notification button. There you go. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so this is my hour by hour schedule. This is actually for next week. So I do kind of lines down to keep it kind of more tidy. So I have like sleep and then line, sleep and line. And you see like I wake up at, we wake up usually at six. That's typically where we wake up this morning. Not they typical. were up at 4.50. I was up at 4.50 with the kiddos. Um, so you're like, Christina, where's your coffee? And you already drink it. I drink coffee on the AMAs, and I already drank mine at like 5 a.m. The <laughs> best part of waking up is 18.50 in, in your, your cup. cup. It doesn't have the same ring. <laughs> but, That's okay. funny. We got that for free at the grocery store. Thanks, Fred Meyer. All right. So, yep, that's how I do my schedule. I also put a tip for my schedule that would probably help you with online classes is I put the kids stuff first and then my stuff second in the box because, you know, the kids are first, right? Ow. <laughs> Just hit my hand. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, on Thursday at noon, I am, I bet you can guess who's doing what. It says nap and clean. Is mommy taking a nap and the kids are cleaning? <laughs> that no. would be, that would be great. That would be great. Um, no, <laughs> the kids are napping and I am cleaning at noon on Thursday, <laughs> which is tomorrow. Well, this is actually for next week. So there you go. Chastity, <laughs> when do you find time to actually fill that out? <laughs> well, that's easy. You just schedule it in. You schedule the time to fill to out schedule. your schedule. Now, yeah. here's the thing. It's so funny because when I do this, and I did this in nursing school, and it always blows my mind. And when I did this, um, I think it was, it added up to 11 hours. I had 11 hours during the week that did not have anything in the box. 11 hours. So here's the problem when you don't plan your time. You lose time and you waste time. <laughs> that was about to fall. Um, when you don't plan your time, you waste those 11 hours because they just, they just disappear, mm -hmm. right? They just disappear. What is, um, what is that? It's the phrases again, today, the guys. Phrases. Again, the phrases. This is from Dave Ramsey. What does he say about money? Something like if you, you don't, don't, if you're not watching it, it just, it just goes away. Yeah. Right. It just gets spent. If you are not, you know, like for that example, budgeting, your money will just disappear. 
It literally does. Like it just, it just, you just spend it and you don't know where it goes. Same thing with your time and with your planner, the nursing school planner, if you are not planning your time, those 11 hours, like I, right. I filled out my planner and I had 11 hours in the week that I just didn't have any plan for. Mm -hmm. If I had not scheduled that in, they would have just disappeared and it would not have been that productive of a week. I can guarantee that. So that's the thing. Um, we had a, we had a member, this was a couple weeks ago. I've used this uh, example because it's so great. Um, she said she filled out her planner. She's like, Christina, I had no idea how much free time I had. Yeah. Tell me about it because you're not planning your time. Right. Oftentimes what we do instead is we say, Oh, I will study this. Like we have a to-do list. Mm -hmm. I'm going to study this. I'm going to get this done, this done, this done. And then you get overwhelmed because you look at that entire list and you spin in anxiety, confusion, and overwhelm, and you don't get any of it done. But if you go take that to-do list, put it on your planner, schedule it in, tell yourself what you're going to do and when you're going to do it, you don't have to be in overwhelm anymore because I don't have to worry about cleaning my house because it's scheduled for tomorrow, Right? Am I going to do it today? No, I'm going to do it tomorrow. It's scheduled, but I don't have to think about it because it's on my planner. It's no big deal. Does that make sense? I know we have a lot of people that are like, yes, <laughs> plan your time or it disappears. Amen to that. Amen. All right. You, Jasmine. For those just joining, welcome to the Nursing School Show by The Way. This is Christina. Hello. I'm Matthew. We're talking about nice nursing school tips, tricks, topic of the day, how to pass online classes, classes online. Uh, right now we're talking about focusing. So any tips on focusing, Leave how to uh, set up a workspace at home, kind of get an environment going, go ahead and shoot them in comments. I'm sure other people that are watching would love to hear and gather some tips from everyone. It's a community. This is a community event. So go ahead, shoot your comments. Tips, it's interactive. In the comments. We are... Well, all of everything, pretty much everything that I've talked about already this morning is in the nursing school study system. Mm -hmm. So we just created this so good. I mean, you guys, I cannot tell you. It just, I was just telling Matthew um, yesterday. It's like, it's such, it's so easy to talk about. Like this study system is everything for you in nursing school. Like it's just, it's, this is just, I wish, I wish I had it. I wish I had had this when I was in nursing school. It's everything I wish I had. It's literally step by step walking you through nursing school. Uh, this What's question: How do you actually stick to the plan, though, from Instagram? So how do you stick to the plan? The, the, once you have every, how I understand it, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, once you actually have oh. your schedule filled out, how do you actually stick to that? <laughs> uh oh, snowbox coming up. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> you feel it too, right? You feel it. Okay. I am, I don't know you. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm not going to get on my soapbox to you. Um, because I don't think we've actually talked before. Uh, Joe, Joe Igba. Is that, is that, if you, if you've been hanging out for us with a, for a while, I will talk to you more straight up. I'm going to maybe soften the blow for you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Discipline. Self-control. Mm -hmm. I'm practicing self-control. Yeah, discipline. I mean, God gives us discipline, right? God gives us self-control. We've talked about this before. It really comes down to this. Saying you're going to do something and following through. Saying you're going to do something and following through. This is... Just join your community. Hello. Oh, you're new here. Hello. Hello. I know. I'm going to stop. I'm going to. That's why. I don't want to scare you off. <laughs> I do really want to help you. I just tend to get a little aggressive. So sorry about that. When you say you're going to do something, you need to do it. It takes practice. Sure. It's like a muscle. Um, you know, the more you talk about it, like a muscle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Why don't you go and do your Motivate, feel about that? Because you're discipline, the pro. Yeah. Discipline. It's definitely like a muscle. So if you're having trouble with self-control, you need to work on it. Mm -hmm. Just like anything else, you need to practice it. 
and you can you can definitely work up to it small step by steps at a time but the most important thing is that what christina said if you write it down you stick to it for period for people that well everyone knows that 10 commandments one of the commandments do not lie that includes to yourself do not lie to yourself so when you say that you're going to do something do it right and yes is that hard yes do we fail yes of course but pick yourself up and do it anyway and keep practicing keep practicing it's a muscle the more you practice the more you do it the stronger that muscle becomes and the easier it take it it, it is to do more and more so you do need to build up to that um so yes definitely um fill out your schedule and stick to it practice 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 now there, there are other tips and tricks and I won't go over everything now, but the other thing is you want to be sure you're well rested mm -hmm. because when you're not as well rested, you do not have as much discipline. Um, so I think about discipline two ways. It's, it's a muscle, which we talked about. The other thing is also like a gas tank. So at the beginning of the day, it's filled up to the top and as you work, it's going to decrease and however much discipline you need, sometimes it takes more. So it takes out more of your tank. Now, as going back to the muscle analogy, the more you strengthen that muscle, the bigger your gas tank gets, mm. right? Wow. So, so good. you start off with a gas tank and you get through. That's why uh, Brian Tracy eat the frog or uh, the one thing. You always want to schedule your one thing at the beginning of the day when you have the discipline to actually get up and do it because you're going to force yourself to do it. If you wait till the end of the day for like the really important things, you're really tired already and it's really hard to do that. Uh, unless you've really worked on that discipline tank. So that's why scheduling, going back to scheduling, that's why it's important. Throw the important things when you have energy, when you have that discipline. Um, yeah, so think about it as a tank, think about it as a muscle. Um, and yeah, just, just be aware of that kind of construct that, oh shoot, this day is gonna be a really busy day. I'm in a lot of classes. I'm going to give myself grace and not um force myself to to stay on my meal plan maybe or something like that so you need to give and take with your with the discipline and what you're going to force yourself to do because it is just a tank and you have only so much of it a day and once it runs out it runs out all right here's christina getting a life coaching on you again <sighs> one of the biggest problems in nursing school one of the biggest problems in nursing school and in life in general, we try to do too many things at once. And I love that Matthew just brought that up about food and exercise. Are you going to be as disciplined to exercise every day in nursing school? Eat salads only. Study eight hours a day. Take care of your kids eight hours a day. All in nursing school, homeschool your kids, work full time, you know, stick to your meal plan, all these things. Like that is a lot of things to focus on. Well, Matthew says all the time, that's what they call it a priority. It's one. Look it up in the dictionary. Is priority sing singular? Priorities, people are trying to make it priorities. I don't know what that means. Yeah. The, the original definition is that there is one. It's singular. One, one priority. What is your priority? Now, this priority can be like a life priority. Like I have a life priority of helping you believe that you are capable of more. That is my life priority. I am showing God's love to you, helping you achieve your dream. That's what I'm here to do in my life. Now, on a day-to-day -day basis, even I can't even say on a day-to-day -day basis because my priority when I am working is my work. Like this, right? You are right now my priority. My priority in a few hours when we go, when I go play with our kids, they are my priority, right? So your priorities might ebb and flow throughout the day, right? But you have one priority that you are 100% focused on. If you are trying to focus on all these priorities all at one time, like that's just, that's a great way to just do everything mediocre in life. That's a great way to stay mediocre. Focusing on too many things. One thing. Man, there's just so many things 
coming in my mind that I yeah. want to say, but I think I think that we've talked about uh, enough about this topic, but definitely I think we'll probably circle around yeah, on this, this is a great to discussion to to keep going through. And I, I appreciate the question that is is really great. Um, it, it goes into work life balance. Is there such a thing? And like we said, I think it's more of seasons and focusing on one thing mm -hmm. and then focusing on another thing. Is this um, helpful for you, this conversation? So. Would you guys like an entire live video on self-discipline, how to stay motivated, all those things? Would that be helpful for you? If that would be helpful for you, can you guys please let us know in the chat because we do not want to put content out there that is not helpful for you. So if that would be helpful, please let us know in the chat if you want motivation, like if you want us to do a video on like motivation, work-life work -life balance, balance yeah. how to handle it all, prioritize all the things like with time management, basically time management is what mm -hmm. we're talking about. Yeah. So if you guys would like a video on that, um, please let us know in the chat because of course we don't want to put it out there if you don't want it. Uh, but also, I'm seeing all these yeses. So I also want to call out, uh, sorry if I butcher your name, which I will, Dia Diavani. Oh, Diavani. Yeah. Diavani. Mm -hmm. Diavani. Um, I really like what you said as well. Think about the goal. Think about your why. That's 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 another thing that we hear yep. a lot. Uh, Simon Sinek is what is your why and anchor yourself in your why because that that is also very motivational as well. So I really like that. Also, you asked uh, how to join the membership and things. I uh, just want to address that really quick. Right now, membership is closed. You can join the wait list at nursingschoolsuccess.com slash join. And when it opens, you'll be the first one to know. Uh, we do only open it up a couple times a year just so that we can focus on our you members. guys, our AMAs, and also our members as well and releasing more content to them. So that's why we kind of, again, work-life balance and, and balancing our time. We're focusing on different things at different times. So right now it's closed. Go ahead and go to nursingschoolsuccess.com slash join to join the wait list. That is really our guided hand-holding will get you through nursing school. And by we, I mean Christina, because <laughs> not a nurse. Uh, in the meantime, if you want a more of a DIY and a, a study system to walk through, step we, by step. we have our condensed steps into the nursing school study system. Mm -hmm. And I posted a link, I'll post it again, uh, nursingschoolsuccess.com slash study system. Yes. Like uh, Joe, Joe Aikba, I am totally not saying your name right. Um, your Instagram handle. How do I get the study system book? Nursingschoolofsuccess.com forward slash study system. One word. Nursingschoolofsuccess.com forward slash study system. One word. If you are a member, I'm, you said that you just joined the community, oh, but yeah. I'm not sure if you mean just no. here or not. But um, members, just shout out to our members that are here or work here. Uh, members, do not go ahead and purchase it. We have released the study system in the membership community for free. For free. Yes. So that's another perk of being in the membership community is that it is in there for free for you yep. guys. There you so. go. Okay. So all of that online stuff that we just went through, we have a bunch of people that said, and that um, you purchased the study system. Perfect. So everything for online classes is on page 51 for you. It's 51 through, I want to say 54. Boom. I was right. 51 through 54. Um, also, something I just would like to point out yeah. is um, we're, it depends on what, it's like, it's September. A lot of you are just starting this. Um, but what we have heard a lot, a lot from students um, this, just this month, really with, with everything being online, I get it. Like I get it. It is like we talked about in the beginning, there are challenges to this, but you can absolutely do it. Now, here's the thing that we've heard. Some students have had a hard time passing their exams. So in the nursing school study system, we talk about what to do if you fail an exam. I walk you through step by step. Here are the steps you need to take. Here are the exact steps you need to take if you don't pass your exam. Mm -hmm. And I would even go as far as to say, not even if you don't pass your exam, but if you just don't do as well on it as you wanted to. So let's say you were going through for an A and you got a B minus, or you're going for a B and you got a C, but in nursing school, that's often a fail. So, you know, if you don't pass your nursing school exam or just didn't do as well as you wanted to, it's in the study system, what to do if you fail an exam. So check that out. I just wanted to point it out because um, I know we have a lot of students who have gotten the study system. Just make sure you check it out. It's on page 56. Spoiler, bonuses. do not quit. 
<laughs> Spoiler alert, don't Spoiler. quit. Spoiler alert. Don't quit on yourself. Amia, Step take one. care. Have fun in class. Bye, Amia. Thanks for joining us. I know a lot of you guys have <laughs> fun because uh, you have to go here and there and all over the place with school and whatnot. All right. Uh, there was a couple, uh, question about the study system, actually, since okay. we were talking about that. Is it good for people at all different levels of nursing? Uh, if you are taking your core nursing classes, yes. If you have started fundamentals, med surge, if you're in an LPN program, anything like core nursing classes, yes, it will help you. If you are taking your prereqs, like uh, Kira on Facebook, you are asking how to study pathophysiology. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you mean like an actual pathophysiology class or if you're actually combining it with med surge. Um, or if you're even talking about anatomy and physiology and pathophysiology. So can you clarify for me on that? Um, but if you are taking AMP or micro or chemistry, it's not going to help you with that. The study system for it's for your core nursing school classes, nursing school study system for your core nursing school classes. Hope that helps. Um, yeah. Pathophysiology. Um, I do want to point that out. Let me find it here in the okay. studies in the study system. So um, we do have a whole section on how to study Medifor. How to study pathophysiology. <laughs> there you go. Learn the pathophysiology first. So when you study any med surge disorder, you have to learn the pathophysiology first because it is the foundation for everything else that you are going to learn. Everything else. There are only four main categories that you have to know in nursing school. Pathophysiology, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. Four main categories that you have to know for your med surge classes. That's it. Patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. Kira, if you are still on here on Facebook, pathophysiology, I always like to break down step by step. Always. Step by step. How, what is happening? What is happening in the body? That's all pathophysiology means. What is happening in the body? What is happening first? Then what happens? Then what happens? Then what happens? Now, if you're a nursing SOS member, you know that you do not have to do this process by yourself because we give you all the videos for pathophysiology. If you go into the membership, into your membership dashboard, you will see all like all the courses, cardiac, respiratory, renal, GI, endocrine, neuro, uh, this is all there for you. And then under each disorder, you will see a patho video pathophysiology video. And in those videos, I break it down for you step by step. If you're not a nursing SOS member, that's fine. But as you're reading your textbooks, try to break it down step by step. See like logically what's happening, what comes next, what comes after, you know, mm -hmm. that giving yourself kind of a sequential order of things, like what do you call it? order of operations, order of things will help you to learn it. Then we start to integrate things, connect the dots together. So uh, what did I, what page was that on? What did I say? Uh, 30, that's on 34, how to study med surge. Now I also want to talk about, do a call out to um, our critical thinking section. And here, um, 15, page 15 of the study system is all about how to critically think. So Kira, that's kind of where I'm guessing that you're going with this question is how to study pathophysiology. Oftentimes in med surge, we have a hard time connecting the dots and putting things together. And that is what I walk you through step-by-step step here, page 15 through my night <laughs> through 21, five pages on how to critically think all there for you in the nursing school study system. So I hope that helps. There you go. Uh, another question. If we're done with Do that it. one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like this one. I don't know why. where it is. Oh, um, from Instagram a little earlier. Uh, any tips on passing medical terminology, medical mm. terminology class? Yeah, medical terminology. Um, a lot of memorization, really. Yeah. That that's really what it is. It's just flashcards, to be honest with you. Flashcards, whiteboard, flashcards and whiteboards. I so, mean, that is the game changer. Okay, so we mentioned this a, a lot on how to um, study the topics that just re require rote memorization, and that yep. that's really it. Um, whiteboards, flashcards, yep. teaching Absolutely. other people once you know it. Which we talk about which in the study system. Which we talk about it in the yeah. study system. Also, I think we talked about it a little bit at length on the AMA or the uh, our live two days ago on Monday. So if you, you want a little Monday. bit more, more information, you can yeah. check that out as well. Um, also, the thing with medical terminology that I want to point out is a lot of the like prefixes and stuff will be the same. So you can look at like 
what, what do they call it? Like prefix or the root of the word? Or I am not an English instructor. Mm -hmm. That is not my forte. But you can look at the word and see like that it really not inflammatory, <laughs> right? You know, anti-infective is not infective. So we can derive from that the anti is like anti, <laughs> not, you know? So anyway, memorization seeing how the words kind of flow together if that makes sense okay great um i feel like christina's fading at this point are you fading all right i had coffee do you suggest the same do you suggest the same for farm so let, let's let's yes. let's talk about farm just a tad then uh tips for yes, pharmacology do. do you suggest the same thing for farm was that the question? Yes. Do you suggest the same thing? Yeah, that, that was a question. Do yes. Hi, Allison. Do you suggest the same? Yes, I do. Now, pharmacology, if you have the study system, is on page 22. How to study pharmacology. It's literally step by step. How to study pharmacology. The first tip is to make a list of your meds. You have to group them together by class. And I walk you through that class um, here, the names. I walk you through the naming structure. So... That, that's exactly what it is. It works for pharmacology as well because a lot of, like, you know, like beta blockers, olol, you know, metoprolol. When you, when you see olol at the end, you know it's a beta blocker. So, yes, it works for, it works for both. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Right. <laughs> I'm glad that helps, Allison. Uh, yes, page 22 in the nursing school study system. What about PEDS and OB? Is that in your study guide? PEDS and OB, yeah, we have a... Uh, it's so funny. <laughs> like, it's so, it's, it's so funny. Um, you guys have to realize that it's just not different. I don't know, like peds and OB really get, get students. Um, I'm going to find it here. Uh, yes, it is. Yes. To answer your question. Yes, it is. Um, when students get to peds and OB, you think that it's completely different and it's not. Like when you, when you are studying pediatrics, you're studying OB, you will be amazed at how many disorders there are in there. Like pediatrics, like all the congenital the disorders, um, asthma, diabet uh, diabetic ketoacidosis uh, for, for peds, you know, and you get maternal labor and delivery, postpartum complications. You have to know that the four main categories, pathophysiology, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions, so yes, I walk you through peds and OB in the study system. It's on page 36. I hope that helps. But that's really the thing. It is not different. It is not different um, than studying med surge. With pediatrics and some things with OB though too, you do have to just memorize, right? The vaccination schedule for pediatrics. You just have to know, you know, when do they get all their vaccines? You just have to memorize that. Um, for me in nursing school, I use flashcards. Um, a lot of the infectious diseases I kind of did rote memorization on flashcards, you know, so it, it can go both ways, you know, it can go, um, critical thinking more of that med surge disorder mm -hmm. thing, or just, you know, flashcards, whiteboards, but there you go. It's in there. Page 36. So again, it is, it is in there. It is in the study system. The study system is our condensed step-by-step -step guide that we created and kind of expanded on in the membership community. So if you want the condensed printable version of our step-by-step -step guide study system is for you it is a pdf download and you can uh, print it out yourself or have it printed or keep it on your computer if you want to do it that way too so that it is works. the study system if you want the kind of premiere um videos and kind of the the more guided process of how to pass nursing school we will we will walk you through passing nursing school using all of those condensed step-by-step in a more expanded fashion, that would be the Nursing SOS membership community. It is closed right now. Carolyn, yes, you are correct. It, there is a waiting list right now. Uh, there's a wait list. So if you want to join that to be notified when the membership opens, that's nursingschoolsuccess.com slash join. Yep. Uh, go ahead and, and join the wait list there. And then you'll be the first to know when it does open. Question always comes up on when. We only open it a couple times because we're a using couple our times a, year. a couple times a year focused attention. So um, soon is all I'll say. Yeah. So so soon when we decide to. <laughs> yeah. So we will um, 
let you yep. know as soon as it opens. Yeah. We Instagram. Bye, Instagram. Five seconds left. Sorry. Woohoo! Just purchased the sense. Okay, bye, Instagram. Take care. Take bye. Care. Um, yes, friends. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. On Monday, we will be back with you. You will see on YouTube. If you go to YouTube, um, you will see on our channel what our upcoming live AMA topics are. And then if you have a question for these live videos, the live AMAs, you can either attend, post in the chat here, like what you guys are all doing right now, or you can submit a question beforehand in the live chat because we have the videos up there on our channel. Like you can go see upcoming live streams and then choose whatever video you want to attend and then post in the chat there. And we will be able to see the chat before the live video. Um, you should be able to see it. You know, it's there. So you could just post your questions beforehand. So oftentimes we come here on the lives and people have already asked questions, which is pretty great. So we can just, you know, hit the ground running. All right. Sweet. Sounds good. We will see you guys on Monday, Monday. 9 p.m. Pacific. 9 p.m. Pacific. 9 a.m. Pacific. Not p.m. If you join p.m., we will not be here. We Sorry will not be here. That. So 9 a.m. <sighs> yep. All right. Take care, guys. 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Monday. All right. Bye. Bye.